whoever has the 26. Do you know who's just on her now for this one? She is. Okay. The, there's that actually a tie to tie in this Okay. That's what that thing that when I went to meet Takun, he showed me his mood board and it had pictures of cowboys and Indian women dying using powdered colours, blues, okras, peaches. And he's used those two iconic um, cultural elements from two different com continents and juxtaposed them for his collection this season. Um, so really, Odile's doing the Indian influence and I'm doing the cowboy influence. So I'm doing the more neutral colours the kind of the smoky brown eyes, the sort of sun-kissed cheeks. And Odile is using all the different powdered colours in the hair. Odile, buy minutes, they're doing rehearsal and they're going to need you down there, so I'll come to you. Yes, darling. <laughs> Don't come too close to me. <laughs> The look for today is very colourful and we're doing little bobs, a bit wavy or we have a kind of a chignon with huge braids as you can see there and we're adding some colours. We're seeing blue, we're seeing purple, pink, green, terracotta, it's a lot of colours. <laughs> I was looking at the idea of an, an old relic of America, something you know, something that is very iconic America, and that sort of took me to uh, looking at the cowboy way of life and cowboy and sort of Western ideals, but then through the eyes of other cultures. We wanted to add some color in there, so there was this romantic notion of how Americans are perceived in the eyes of other cultures, and so that led us to India. And so you'll see a lot of colors that are sort of representing India, you know, curry, turquoise, orange, uh, cumin, spicy colors, but earthen colors, but then mixed and applied in ways that are very sort of iconic cowboy styles. I lived in Omaha. I mean, I was born and raised in Thailand, but moved to Omaha, Nebraska when I was 11. And so I grew up there for a good 10 years before college. It's funny, though, because I think that, again, this is the perception of other people as well, that, you know, people think that Omaha is actually the West, but it's the Midwest, but we didn't really have cowboys in, in Omaha as much as, you know, Wyoming and Colorado and Texas. So the plains certainly had an influence on the way that I was thinking about America and, 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 and the ideal of America. Fabrics are really rich this season. I was feeling metallic and I wanted to work with a lot of gold, a lot of textures. So we got a lot of threaded gold silk, printed brocade, even silk macado, which is uh, stiffer, and you know, it has more shape and more sheen too. Um, a lot of really rich fabrics. Uh, Western Glamour Fest was fantastic. I loved all the color, you know, from tips of their cowboy boots to the top of their head, color exploding everywhere. And it was still very feminine and girly. I could see a woman like me wearing it or a girl in her early 20s wearing it. A lot of prints, a lot of color, a lot of color, a lot of floral prints everywhere. Um, digitally enhanced prints. Designers are taking fabrics and manipulating the textures and prints um, via the computers. So technology has really moved fashion forward. It 
was decorated, adorned, all-American, Western, gone mad. And I think that everyone's kind of taking the classic ideas of spring fashion and putting kind of twists to them. And that's what I think is so interesting. It's still the clothes we love and want to wear for spring, like florals, like ruffles, like color. But it's all got this strong edge, this vibrant twist. And that's what I think makes it special. Silhouettes are very simple. I mean, there aren't that many shapes. You know, you have your basic shirts. A lot of dresses are fitted and then flared. Full skirts, either short or super long. And some of the silhouettes are to the waist. Some of them are uh, drop-waisted as well. It's a sense of casual ease. There's ease in fashion right now that I like, which is, is very modern, and I think that that's what the woman has. She's got a lot of confidence. She, she's not a fashion victim. She's just very confident about fashion and, and the way that she looks and the way that she wants to be dressed. What I do is, is to design clothes. I mean, ultimately, that's what clothes are meant to do, is to be worn. And so it's really exciting to be able to capture, you know, different types of women and, and you know, different types of personalities, different types of age group even. It, it makes me feel like I'm doing something right. Mm -hmm.